All right, good morning. This is Preacher John in Boulder, Colorado. Just lifted the banner at 12 noon, a couple minutes till, here at 9th and Pearl. 9th and Pearl, it's on the west end of the Pearl Street Mall, which is kind of right behind me there. It's, it's a sunny sky today, blue sky, sun shining, typical Boulder winter, snow one day, half a foot, four inches, three inches, whatever, the next day or two, bright sun, warm sun, cool air. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Where I stand here, I'm under this big mulberry tree. Way up there, it's a big mulberry tree. And that thing sheds all those berries. It is a blueberry, or no, mulberry mess. <laughs> but uh, we still preach from this corner here. Across the street is University Cycles. That's University Cycles right there. It's pretty famous, been here for, I don't know, 50 years, since 1960-something. Pretty amazing, it's got a lot of history there. Behind me is Canyon. This is Pearl, and I walked down Spruce today. Last month when I was here, I got in trouble. I didn't get in trouble, but uh, they tried to cause trouble on me, and the police were called out, two of them, but they saw that I was doing absolutely nothing illegal, wasn't bothering anybody, wasn't doing anything to hinder any business whatsoever. And let me get this right here. Sorry about that. I get these notifications. <laughs> Anyways, uh, police told the business owner the law. He wanted to make his own law, kind of what's going on today. They want to make their own law. It's kind of what Satan does. He kind of wants to make his own laws. And, and I suppose some Christians want to make their own laws too. They don't want to abide by the laws of God. They just think, hey, if I want to sleep around with my friend as long as I love him, big deal, right? God's going to forgive me, right? That's what they say. That's a new law they created to uh, satisfy the lust of the flesh pride of eyes and or the lust of the eyes and pride of life however that goes I'm not a Bible memorizer I've tried all my life to memorize if I go over it a hundred times I'll get pizza of it bits and pieces of it. I can find whatever I need to look for though and if you need a particular where's that in the Bible I'm really good at finding things in the Bible it might take me a minute or two but I can find it well, this is the uh, this this uh, is on the eastern end of the cross that is over the city of Boulder. This is the east end of this cross. Only another block, maybe two blocks. We go straight up in the mountains. Basically, this is the end of the major roads here in Boulder. The other roads are not as uh, they're basically residential roads. They don't go. There's no throughway. This is the last throughway here in Boulder. And this road, 9th, goes right up to Chautauqua Park. It's a real famous park right at the base of the Flatirons. A lot of people think that's a pretty amazing place, and it is. It's pretty spectacular, very spectacular. You get to climb up there, and you can see all the way across the Great Plains of the United States of America. Quite spectacular to think that, uh, you know, 100 years ago, there was millions of buffalo roaming those fields until, until the train went across and they thought that uh, they wanted to make their own law and shoot the wildlife. They thought that was pretty cool just to shoot them for fun. And eventually they became extinct. It's because man creates his own laws against God's laws. But such is life. I thought I was going to be an hour late today, but I'm right on schedule, actually five minutes early. Isn't that amazing? What amazed me about that is if you get into a habit of ministering and preaching the gospel and you just stay after it month after month after month, this is my month 18, I'll be starting 19th month here uh, next week, I think, starts 19. Anyways, it uh, becomes a habit. Serving the Lord becomes a habit. And it becomes easy. If you get sidetracked, you're not feeling well. I mean, I've not been feeling well all week ever since uh, Saturday, Sunday. I made a great big mistake on Saturday. I, I disobeyed the Lord, 
the Lord's asked me three and a half years ago to set Saturday aside, the Sabbath, as unto Him for me to rest. And uh, three times now I've ministered on that day because, anyways, I ministered for about five or six hours on Saturday and it, it literally took all my rest away and I have been out of energy all week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and today's Wednesday, I'm still out of energy. Uh, and I repented from that. The Lord asked you to do something, you gotta do it, man. You can't uh, say, you can't reason away. I mean, you just can't say, oh, God doesn't care. God cares. He cares for you, he cares so much that, uh, in fact, if you don't even know Jesus, he cares so much that he gave the very best. He gave himself, gave himself. He died on the cross for you, my friend then rose on the third day. He shed his blood for your sins so that if your, your sins would be covered by the blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ. You believe that story, you believe that you take Jesus into your life, you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says you become a new creature in Christ. All things are passed away, all things are made new. You're born again, you're engrafted in the family of God. Who's the family of God? Israel. Israel is the family of God. We're Gentiles. We've been engrafted in that family through the line of Judah. That's the tribe that we're under, or in line, the, the tribe of Judah. Goes all the way up through uh, Jacob, Isaac, and Abraham. Abraham's the father of faith. That's your father. And that's what we're doing here. Of course, nobody likes me being out here. Everyone, I must have five people give me really nasty, nasty, dirty looks. But oh well. I'm going to lift the banner and I'm going to pray for every soul. We don't preach out loud today. We intercede in the Holy Ghost, but we do pray out loud. But we're praying. And people come up to us and we minister the gospel of Jesus Christ to them. We answer their questions. We pray for them. We do whatever, whatever the Lord wants us to do for them. It's a great day. God bless you, my friend. Receive Jesus Christ, your Savior. Preacher John here. He said that. Get the greasy side down, the shiny side up, man. <laughs> All right, 10-4. Roger that. Bye-bye.